Election day just 48 days away now. Gosh, it's hard to believe. Hillary Clinton scrambling to regain some ground, lost to Donald Trump in the key battleground states. And there's a lot of them, and some of them were red, and now they've gone purple. Fox News national correspondent John Roberts is live in Wilmington, North Carolina. Hey, John. Hey, good morning to you, Brian. Steve Ainsley, uh, North Carolina, a place where Donald Trump's fortunes are beginning to look up. A new Elon University poll that was released uh, late yesterday has got him leading Hillary Clinton by a single point, 44 to 43. This kind of is in keeping with the Suffolk University poll that was out last week that showed him up by three points. And in Ohio, where Donald Trump is going to spend the day today, he's up anywhere between three and five points. Now, Donald Trump really needs North Carolina as an alternate route to the White House should he not be able to flip Pennsylvania. You know, he needs to win Ohio and Florida, but if he gets a combination of, say, North Carolina and Iowa and Nevada, instead of winning Pennsylvania, he can beat Hillary Clinton and get to 270 before her. In terms of Hillary Clinton, Donald Trump spent the day here in North Carolina yesterday going at Hillary Clinton very hard over the issue of terrorism, suggesting that immigration policies pursued by her and the Obama administration have allowed people in this country who want to attack America, telling an audience in Kenansville, North Carolina, just north of us yesterday, that Hillary Clinton's got her priorities all backward when it comes to looking after the American people versus looking after international interests. Here's Trump from yesterday. Hillary Clinton is the vessel for all of the global special interests seeking to run our government and our lives. And it's not going to happen anymore. It's a gravy train, and it just keeps flowing. On November 8th, that special interest gravy train is coming to a very abrupt end. For her part, Hillary Clinton was off the campaign trail yesterday doing debate prep according to her campaign, but curious that she canceled a big fundraiser in Chapel Hill, North Carolina yesterday. She will be back on the trail today. She's got a small event in Florida, in Orlando, and then a fundraiser as well. Donald Trump with a full slate of events beginning at 9 o'clock this morning. He's in Cleveland, then he goes to Toledo, Ohio, and then he's got some other events later in the day in the Buckeye State. So, full day of campaign. Yeah, he's going to be with Sean today. tonight. Brian, Steve Ainsley? Yeah, he's yeah. going to be with Sean Hannity tonight. It, Mostly yeah, he'll, be, he'll do Hunt Hannity. Yeah, All right. They will. It's odd, though, that Thank she canceled that event in North Carolina when he's winning in the polls and she needs that money. But right. People are wondering what's up with that.